What's up? This is your boy Super, and I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2. We're not very far into the game. We just, I think we just robbed the train. That's actually pretty far. That's like, it's like the whole uh, prologue or whole chapter one. It's a big deal. Plus, we took over a camp, killed like 20 people. As long as we keep our noses clean. Well, Rescue the girl. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days. Well, the, the epilogue or the end of chapter chapter one might be when we establish our base camp. You know, this is still a highly cinematic and interactive movie. And it's it's a regular open world game with, with very few cutscenes. Compared to what we're doing now, you know, like GTA, we get a base, we got customization shops, we actually have to travel to missions we have to travel to, to accept missions we have to travel to, to complete side quests, optional activities, resource gathering. For, the, for having such an interactive movie style beginning, there's a lot of open world to it, a lot of freedom. And that all happens once we get to a base camp out of the snow. I like how things are patient, like the cutscene. There's no words, it's nice and long, it's, you know, it's like 30 seconds long. No one's even speaking. It really adds a lot to a game. Hey, Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's that's, no That's probably now that I look yeah. about it, like I was excited for Returnal, but I thought it was gonna be more cinematic and more of a story. A but it's really really just like a PC style roguelike, you know. Or just the any old school Nintendo style rogue roguelike. It's not it's not as entertaining. I was looking for a story. But it's still a great game though, and I'm glad I bought it. Match speed with the caravan. Y'all. Come on, we're falling behind. Like the blur and the lighting look really cool, but Well, I guess it's high enough resolution. It's not bad looking. But after being playing so many 4K PS5 games. You can notice down downgrade. No way of avoiding that. You have to knock your wagon wheel off. Right Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. God, these cutscenes look so good. Hey, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> a good game. He's got a these button presses to bash the wheel. Nearly there. there. You can customize like your horses, your guns, your face, your camp. You so after all. <laughs> There's like a journal collectible. And it's like really good cinematically. Usually that's a thing where open worlds can open world games can cut out as a cinematic, but Rockstar doesn't. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left. There's nobody to follow now. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the Indians everywhere got sold a raw deal. Farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or... Up to the yeah, I was complaining a lot about the writing, but at least, you know, in this in that day and age, I guess, I think they were called Indians, and they, so it's good that the game doesn't call them Native Americans. 
especially since it's like uh, California, Rockstar in California. And when it's a name like Rockstar, I think California, Hollywood, you know. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block. Most politically correct area in America. Don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. All my life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Why wouldn't he be, be a, a sad bit. alcoholic drinking himself to death after he lets his wife see. get kidnapped? Never sees her again. Because what would he know about that? He's just a kid. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two, Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Are we still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. no. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws. You are now hot. This is shown by the flashing sun icon in the health core. When you are too hot or too cold, it will notify you. Avoid becoming too hot. Make yourself wear clothes for appropriate for the environment. We're still dressed for that snow. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah. What's that? Snuff? Snuff? I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. You acquired some herbs that can be consumed to replenish your cores, cores in cooking or crafting. A variety of plants can be found throughout the world. Pick them to learn about their properties. The compendium tracks what you have discovered in the world. It can be accessed in the progress section of the pause menu. Yarrow has been added to the compendium. Ginseng has been added to the compendium. Fang. Grown in Appalachians. Long ride. You 
way we can speed this up a little. Check the map here. We are far away. Look, we're headed up and away from where we have to go. This is our camp, Horseshoe Overlook. I assume that sign means a camp. Index, Horseshoe Overlook. Okay, I bet you it's a camp. We're in the mountains, so that's why we have to go way around. Come now. I thought I wanted to reverse the wagon when it's stuck. Gotta take her slow. There. Now look at yonder. Dead man's cliff. Copyright. Voice chat off. Output stereo headphones, baby, of course. Dialogue bound score. Okay, it's not music, it's score. So I bet you it's not copyrighted and it's all classical. Just like what we were just hearing on here. Like one, one instrument playing all by itself, slow and not many notes. It's hard to, for the algorithm oops, to track. The more, the more flat and less notes that something has, it's just a, a general sound effect that anybody can have. more complicated than the score, easier it is to identify. Looking better here. We need the flat ground to camp. Trees for cover. Grass for comfort. There you are, brother. Head in there. And follow the track for a bit. What do you think I'm doing? I wanted to bring the wagon to a complete stop. Mr. Paulson body right there. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Homestead, pitch camp. It's beautiful grove. I'm just kidding. I don't know what the grove. Oh, that might be a grove down there. When the horseshoe overlook. Overlooking the beautiful countryside. Gentlemen. Our laws are the dance for beauty. How do you do, ma'am? You were wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. Let's say hi. Gentlemen, 
We have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. I guys got a nice get up there, dude. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that fairy. We have something. all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Need my fucking maverick. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I want to be safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. Uh, oh, that's our next goal. Get some money. I know. Gotta do our jobs in town. Safe. We make a business here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. Up for robbing banks to usury? Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time Four. for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay you there, Arthur? Remember, we are itinerant work laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time. For everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Mr. Bishop. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Oh my god, sleep safe, clean, clean clothes, and store your goods. Yeah, I can't. Chapter 2 Horseshoe Overlook. <laughs> Got off the mountain. Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all. It's an odd thing to notice in another man. Spot of black water. Especially a man such as Dutch. I don't think there's any beauty with them. Oh. <laughs> Eat, drink, and rest to maintain your call. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station. By the what if he like the, the treasurer it's of the gang? Banker gone rogue. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Here we are. In camp. Well, you can gain or lose weight. It'll be shown in your health color. So how do we bring up our colors? Mission complete. There's a lot of work. Or two. What's going on? Look at you, Nothing. grease ball Dutch. Bring piercing animals. Bring piercing animals to supply the camp for food and skins. 
for satchels and animal capacity. Well, I guess that's what we're doing first. I want, there we go. If you press down, you can get your hood and see my coas. My purse and the camp's purse. Okay, your beard is getting long. You can shave it at my at my bed or a barber shop. My bed's got to be the camp symbol over here. No, this, I don't think this is the right way. Here's a pedestal to shave on, though. Shave. Trim. Trim, trim my chops. Or does that mean leave my chops? You look better clean cut. Oh, can't, we can't trim the, oh, the length. Okay. Trim the chops going. First of all. Trim the chin. Right about there. Trim the mustache down right about there. Alright. We gotta unlock the rest of our provisions, ammo, health. I found all in the camp. As noted by the icons, there's also food in the camp. Everything's in the camp. We should have hunt some animals to keep the camp well fed and supple. Supplied, I mean. There's a sprint. We rode in on a wagon so we don't have a horse. Burns my breeches. This is not a fast sprint either. That's better. That's how you sprint. Okay. We don't even have a saddle. Hmm. Stole one unbounded horse by hitching it. All right. All right. See, I want to go hunting. See if we got any game on the map here. Bessie Swanson. Uncle Remus. Javier holds shoe ammo, butch barber doctor donate to camp general store grub. Want to find Arthur's horse. Do, do not got grazing hunting ground area. Hmm. Well, what's our current mission? Eastwood Bound. Skin Deer. Okay. Don't know how we're going to find deer just yet. Eastwood Bound. Renewed strength in the weather, stable to gang ride down the mountains of camp at Horseshoe Overlook. Complete within six minutes. Oh, we missed out on that one. But the mission is complete. Let's go talk to Uncle. Maybe he'll lead us in the way of some, some, some deer, or some buffalo. He's way over here. I wonder if I'll ever not smell a campfire again. I think it's Is he fucking moving on me? Where did he go? Uh, we are. That's got to be. It's a horse. And now it says we're heading in the wrong direction. What kind of nonsensical map is this? This is absurd. Absolutely ridiculous. Well, let's just talk to everybody. Hello. Howdy. I can't sit. You've done the best you can with this place, Miss Grimshaw. Susan Grimshaw. Given the circumstances. No doubt. Susan Grimshaw. Pissing pot. Did you and Mike see anything when you rode ahead? He's got the sniper rifle. Okay, 
and chow. Nothing doing with the pot. You study something. Chicken, all right. Let me some chicken. Let me know I'm going to go ahead now. And the next, you know, we can greet this. This is our prisoner here, yeah, the Driscoll. You're Arthur, right? My name ain't no concern of yours. Boy. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Look, you, you seem like a decent fella behind it all. Then you Kieran look good judge Driscoll. Character. Yeah, well. We'll leave it there and there. We will indeed. No more words spoken. Oh, you choke on it. Well, you're the one that's going to be sucking it, so how am I going to choke? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm cooked. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Morning. Yes, Butcher. Lots to do now. Yeah. Same thing. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Ciao. Okay. Little lady here. See, we're low on food, health supplies, water. Well done, Mr. Morgan. Bring that, let's bring that menu back up. We can. Yeah, see the red, three red icons, no food. We're low on food, low on water, low on ammo. We better be getting on the getting. I don't know why we can't talk to our uncle. Or where he may be. Don't. Okay, so this must be all good horse with the saddle on him. Well, if we're low on him, I don't need to be go raiding it. You know what I mean? But he is not here. Oh, there he is. Oh. Ow. Ah. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, Killing, lying, fighting to try to survive. You get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. If you're going to take the old man into town, you can take us too. Why, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on, then. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> oh, looks like we got ourselves a date. Well, all right, all right. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. There we go. Now we're getting some speed up there. That's how we were supposed to do it in six minutes. Easy now. Tap it the faster you tap it, the faster you're going to go. Oh, well, all right. She won't do it for the sister, well. Valentine, friends do mine. Looks like we got us an encounter. Oh no, oh no, oh, oh, oh lord. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? I got it. 
Oh, we gotta to speak to the driver first. Alky. Oh, hey, you could Too much calling liquor. There, could you? Well, all right. I'd really help. appreciate the help. All right. I'm worried this one here will bolt on me too if I leave it. Sure. Leave it to me. It's the white one over there. That wasn't the proper button. We might have to ride all of us. We don't have we don't have a horse here. Come here you silly mag. How do we get our weapon? There we go. Study it first. Whoa. Calm it down. Whoa. Easy. Easy. Calm it down. You're okay. Calm it down. Calm it down. Pet it. Clipping. Put the lead on. Yeah, I ain't no hell, or hose, ain't met a hose that could resist the whole art of here. Here, here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. And a scholar. Be on your way. Trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway. Got to clear the road. Come on, let's go. Oh, to y'all. Woohoo! In town, baby. Paint the town red, like your dress, there, young man, lady. Trains coming to there's a horse. No, no, stop! Oh no. Oh damn, he's long gone now. I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. Here we are. There's a post office. There's a saloon. Smell those sheep. Where's a <laughs> stable? <laughs> Farm animals. Church. Like Other... How can you not have been here, old woman? I mean, we brought these women with us from the winter wonderland. It's a speed limit in town. You can't go really fast. Sheriff, the drug doctor. Bounties. We got a, We got some outlaws hunting some outlaws. Smithfield's hams? Is that the butcher? Oh, that's the, that's the saloon with barbers, meals, and rooms. That's a hell of a that's a hell of a building there. Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Get the fuck out the way. Oh. There you go. He's all right. He's all right. <laughs> Give him a good slap on the back. Okay. He'll be fine. What are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respected maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Ha, <laughs> ha. Just stay out of trouble. I bet you will. Right, I need to get something. Don't lift up your dresses for anybody. Now, I don't care how much they pay you. Yeah. 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 Maniac. Yeah. In my youth, I used to be no oh, we gotta follow this oh, old timer. <laughs> okay. Look at those muddy footprints. Tracks why. in the mud. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know. Be even sadder, we don't get this money. 
You're my favorite parasite. Yeah. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. Let it go. Now. Come on. That's what I'm trying to do. You're in my way. Without so, towards. What do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Okay. Ahead, so what do we got you're here? Get tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fella. Buy coffee, okay. Carrot. Corn. Out of my way. I'm sure there ain't no coffee over there. We got scent lotion, gun oil, anything, uh, pocket watch, maybe. horse reviver, classic oat cakes. Might need some of them. Who knows? Soup keeper. Who's the soup keeper? What do we have for sale here? So we got you're actually buying for once? fine you're brandy. Where? These provisions, tonics, ingredients, materials, kits, valuables. We don't have any valuables, so we're not selling nothing. What do you got for sale? Got some coffee. John coffee. Probably in provisions, I would assume. Dry goods, liquor, fresh food, canned food, tobacco. No. All done. Thank you kindly. Beans, apricot, ah, beef, sweet pineapple, peaches. Yep. That's fine with more vegetables, salmon. That should do us. Let's go. Salted oatmeal, cheese wedge, mature venison meat, pork loin, ground coffee. Here we go. A dollar. Woo. It's expensive. All the best, fellas. All right, you have a good day, huh? How do I get the fuck out of here? Close, there we go. Shopkeeper's almanac. It's a lifesaver. What are you doing drinking this early? Hello. You ought to be ashamed you're, you're of yourself. Health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. Yes, positively, loodly, toodly, noodly, neighbor. In my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. I told you not to like get in trouble. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York. Good Lord, what? You know, your looks don't make up for your attitude there, girl. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah. Known it. I've been it before. Sounds good. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken she fellas that they were going to rob. Why? Seemed easy. Mouth like a mouth like a mouth like a work of all. There's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Oh no. One girl after the other causing trouble. What are we gonna do? Get your hands off her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. I'm the guy that's gonna blow a hole clean through your brain. That's who I be. Or what exactly? You'll Can't you see out. me pulling a gun, holding a gun? Are you stupid? That's You're right. A big get! Go on now, get! Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right. away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks. Fast okay. now. Get! Get! Get him. Get a dad out of here. I gotta go talk to somebody. Oh, every last one of them out here causing trouble. Just like some women. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for uh, one of your one of your prostitutes here. And crying, Karen. I'm looking for a room. Use your 
looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather? Mid-twenties, blonde, you'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Alright. Not much concern for people's privacy or anything. You gonna let me walk right up there? No trouble now, please! He knows it damn well. He's, he's tall us. Be out here, tricking and drunk dudes. She gonna have him killed by the time I get in there. She's a big one, ain't she? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Forgot how to fight. Oh, we're... oh shit, we just gutted him. They got my real wall, huh? Very well. Look okay. this clown here. Fine. You sure? Yeah. I, yeah, it is the big one. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just. I said loot. Arthur, not talk to the big stupid girl. Bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Well, hey, you don't sure get your stupid ass out of here and town. let me loot this guy. Maybe I did loot him. I don't, I'm not picking anything okay. up. Or maybe it's her running her mouth. I don't know. Either way. Search dress. There we go. It was her mouth. Her mouth ain't as pretty as the other ones either. Not a damn thing. And ADT. Not a damn thing. And DT. Not a da damn thing. It's weird how we can't search them properly. How am I supposed to know if I'm not picking up anything out of that? How do I know if I can grab any of that? Oh well, at least we got to search in his body now. There we go. Got like a dollar, 49 cents. All right, that's half of our money from the coffee back. Get this girl and get the hell out of here. We got a man first, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. Every last one. Not much like being safe. Good luck. When I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur did a lot worse to him. All right then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No, impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get. We got us a witness. Like Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Two. Shit, no. Just on it. Oh, black water. Oh, black water. Get back. gonna be dead tired. We might even need to eat a little snack while we're riding. I don't want to call out. I oh, no, no, no. Looks like we got us another horse. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. All right, come on. Okay, I just brother. shaved when we got here. How does oh. he recognize me still? We gained honor right, for the I'm second back. time, I'm sure. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. I 
think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Hmm. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And Why are you telling on yourself, Arthur? Arthur? Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one What? I in thought... This old man. thought we were just being friends. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. That's our temporary holes. Or did we run over a plant or something? Yeah. Wild Karit. Karat. Huh. We could eat this one. It's another Karat. That one's a white Karat. One more thing over here, I won't know. That's me. I got bad eyes. I got something for sure. Roses? Nah, nah, roses grow in a bush. That's Yara. Pick six more Yara, and you're good to go. That looks familiar. Tobacco Indian tobacco. Man, I've seen that probably. That's not what I thought it would be though. Some type of wildflower is what I thought it would be. Well, you know, Indian tobacco could be a wildflower. They use the leaves that don't need flowers or fruit. Those are some odd looking things. Wild horses can be eaten up into your carrots or stowaway. All horses are probably, probably mighty tired. I reckon. 25% to max level. It's level 3 stamina. We are going to study our horse, of course. Unless, of course, the horse is the famous Mr. Ed. Pat. Feed. Hopefully it gave it care. No, gave it okay. Oh, girl. At least she's fed and her stamina is full. Oh. Round two now. Karen within 25 seconds. Maybe never. This game is too long, complex, and complicated for me to do it first time, let alone play through for such trivial things. Your horse is right here, dude. You've unlocked the herbalist challenge. We accidentally ran them over. So now the towns won't ever want it. We're disturbing the peace. We've got to make our way to the spotted. We gotta make our way to the carriage, but we can't be wanted. We're just about out of the 
it's a cr the crime scene. That stamina is definitely low. There was a marking where our caravan was and says go to it, but then we got wanted for bumping into somebody. Yeah, I've heard a lot of complaints about that. That they had to instigate the wanted system, otherwise people would never use it. Like, it's so good. You know, most people think we play the game, and I'm going to go kill everybody and do everything wrong to, to just be silly. But I could understand why people wouldn't with this game. It's so immersive to do it the right way. You could, you could forget about trying think silly things out. Here is a carriage. Blips, question blips indicate optional objectives. Question marks. Okay, so we're gonna head over to this question mark. I'm sure it's this. No, oh, it's a stranger, not a saloon. Outside the saloon. I would really like a horse. Or a carriage. Almost a level four stamina. I don't know where a girl's are. Hit around back. Where is this? Where, oh, where, he's in front of us. It's a beggar here. Where is he at? I just want to get a drink. Oh, that's fine. I don't care what you get. Where are you? He's inside. Remember, what really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in '76? Just a lot of bunk. Oh, it's, no, this is a different person. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, I don't know where sir. the beggar Your is. Your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left hand I've draw got that to ever give me a drink. Well, we're just about out of time, but I'm, I'm mighty obliged to keep on going here. Yeah. I reckon yeah. right now, kill him yourself. Yeah. I don't want to kill him, I want to deify him. He's a Deify outlaws and rebels in his book. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I kill him and be Even without electricity, people had too much free time on their hands. And I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The jaws of gunsling. It's win win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down. Die a hero? Or a die murderer. What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, not trying to shoot. I'm a B-lister, baby. Baby, well, baby. Once upon a time. Man. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. Give me the cash, man. Give me the cash. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book. I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here or some other flop house. Alright, we gotta go make outlaw poem. Ready? Gunsling a poem. Where's me horse? Your horse is out of whistling range. You must get closer. <laughs> well, we don't have time for that. I'll see y'all later. Y'all take care now, you hear?